Hey guys, I get a fair amount of questions on how I do the artwork or burn the artwork in on my Hawks. So I'm gonna show you this tool. It's not meant to be a full skill review on this, just a quick overview, but let's take a look. So to help answer these questions, it is the Creative Versa tool. And we'll go into a little, little bit more detail on this tool right here. But first I just wanted to show you what you can do with it or what I have done with this tool on my Tomahawks. There's a little bear paw and then I burned in these parts right there. And there's the mountain scene. I think you guys have seen this hawk plenty on camera. You got this guy right here, this eagle. You have another eagle in the back. You can see the artwork there on the bottom. Um, <clears throat> some more stuff on this side and then the hawk that I'm working on right now, this thing's turning out sweet. So this, is, of course, is in process. It's not done yet, not stained, but you can see the detail, the type of detail you can get with this. <clears throat> Some elk antlers there, and just uh, my design that I came up with on the, on the bottom end. But check this out over here that I did. That is so freaking cool. So uh, I drew that in and then, of course, burned it in with that Versa tool, um, a little fire right there, same thing on the bottom. <clears throat> One thing you note on the fire, uh, this seems a little bit darker than this area, and a lot of that has to do with the tips that this package comes with, so let's get to that next. A lot of guys ask me if I do this with a soldering iron, and basically that's all that this is, but it's a soldering iron on steroids. Cost on this when I purchased it was $30. I just checked online today and I found out for about $23. So it's really not that expensive. And the advantage you have with this over a soldering iron is this can work as a soldering iron, but you plug it into the wall and you've got some different settings right here. And these different settings allow you to do different things. Uh, you can pause this and look at it. We'll talk about it real quick, but the first one, leather, soft plastic, synthetic fabrics. Second one, cork, iron on it. And what does that say, embellishment? Sorry, I'm trying to read through the camera viewer. Um, next one, cork, natural fibers or fabrics. And that one is the wood. So that's what it, that's the setting I use for the wood. Last one, ceramics. Foam. Anyway, you get the point. There's a lot of different things you can do with this, giving the temperature control that you have that you don't have on a soldering iron. At least the soldering irons I've been, I've used in the past only have plug and play kind of a thing. Also, what this offers is this part right here, the tip. This comes out, just screws out, and it comes with different tips in here. So if you're into pyro pyro pyrography, <laughs> say that fast five times, or the uh, basically what this is, right, is just burning the wood. There's a lot of different things you can do with these. Honestly, I'm not that into it. Um, the reason I bought it was specifically for the Hawks. This right here, I've used this piece. I've used this one. And what I use most, I find, is this very, very fine tip. So for example, the fine tip did the logs there on the fire. This more rounded one did the actual flame. And the tree, I did the whole thing. Gosh, that's awesome. I'm so happy with the way that turned out. Did that with the uh, very fine piece. So it took me quite a while to do it, but it turned out very well. Um, it does come with the soldering iron bit right there with some solder and some design tips. I don't ever see myself using these, but just to give you an idea, if I can grab it out with my fingers, it just gives you some um, designs. You can see that, there we go. I don't know, I don't know what that is. Just a design, kind of reminds me of a soccer ball anyway. You just plug that in or screw that in and then turn it on and then you just hold it and burn it on your, on your whatever you're burning on. Also has a um, uh, kind of the exacto knife thing so you can heat that up and use that to cut through things. Anyway, this has a, a lot of versatility. I get asked this a lot, guys. This is what I'm using. 
the creative versatile for how inexpensive it is uh, it's been a lot of fun if you're into modding these hawks it's a great tool also comes with this little stand so you can set that while you're using it you don't burn something but uh yep there you go questions many questions on that answered it makes it a lot of fun and turns these hawks into something really cool we'll see you